Hey guys, it's Becca. Today I'll be showing you how to recreate my Espa Black Mamba inspired design. Start off by painting all of your nails except for your thumb white. Once they're dry, top coat the nails. When the top coat is dry, use neon yellow, blue, orange, pink, green, and purple to make a tie-dye pattern. To blend the blobs of color together, dip your brush in acetone and swirl it around between the colors. When you're finished with the tie-dye, seal it in with a top coat. Use black to make the outline of the snake's head and part of its body on the middle nail. Line your nails up beside each other so that you can see where to connect the snake's body on each nail. Fill the outline in with black. For the snake's head, use a neon purplish pink polish to outline the scales. Once you have a general outline done, fill the sections in with metallic purple, pink, and red. Add highlights with yellow, sheer and opaque white, and metallic green. Add white eyes and then fill them in with mustard yellow. Outline them with black and then add a slit pupil. For the scales beside the head, make little diamonds with sheer white and then add highlights with metallic pink and opaque white. To make the scales on the body, use sheer white to make sideways Vs. You want them to fit together so that they make diamonds. Fill the diamonds in with metallic pink and add tiny highlights to some of the scales with white. Seal in your design with a top coat. Fill the other sections of the snake in with black. Make a black line where the body of the snake should curve. The direction of the scales will change on either side of this line. Make the scales in the same way that you did on the last nail. Make sheer white bees and fill them in with metallic pink. On this nail, you want the scales to follow the black guideline that you painted. 
They should get smaller as you get closer to the left. Repeat the process on the other side of the line, but with the Vs pointing in the opposite direction. I didn't top coat my nails again after painting the snake so that you could see the texture of the scales, but if you want it to last longer, then seal in your design with a top coat. Paint your thumbnail black. Once the polish is dry, use silver to make Espa's logo. Sealing your design with a top coat and you're done! All of the products used in this video will be listed in the description below. Thanks for watching!